Hey guys, this is Tom from Numbers Game Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me here today. And today we're going to be talking about social circle and how to make guy friends. Okay. Now it takes me a while to kind of figure out exactly how to break down how I built social circles and made friends throughout high school, university, work, or at the gym. Because it just seems to like relationships just happen. And usually when you think about like, oh, the relationship just happened, it means you generally, you played the passive role and let another person, you know, initiate things. You let another person, you know, make all the moves for you, right? <laughs> it's essentially being like the girl in cold approach, right? The, the guys just approach you and they lead the way. And that's a lot of the times what happened to me in in high school, in university, at work, or at the gym, guys would just make comments like ask questions or, you know, things like that. And you respond, you ask him a question and yes, it, it just, you gradually bond over that quick conversation. And it seems like you kind of, it's kind of clicked and you exchange phone numbers. It's like, yeah, we should hang out sometime. It's pretty much exactly like approaching a woman, you know, that same kind of dynamic except yeah obviously <laughs> you're not going to be like doing anything intimate with them but it's just guy friends exchanging numbers and wanting to hang out you know outside of work or outside the gym and uh that's generally how it is it plays out just the same way in cold approach as cold approach is when you're approaching a woman now there have been times where i have approached men like you know i started things i am made the initial you know comment or question that sparked the conversation and then you like yeah you, you hit it off and you exchange phone numbers and yeah hopefully you know a lasting friendship forms but it's a numbers game in the like grand scheme of things just like when you're approaching women you know every woman has their own needs wants and circumstances that determines whether or not she's sexually available whether she's interested in you same thing with men when you're approaching men to like make guy friends not every guy is going to be like in the market for a new friend. Uh, it doesn't matter like who you are. Like I've had lots of guys approach me, you know, like want to exchange numbers, like want to hang out. And I feel like kind of a dick, but at the end of the day, like male friends aren't really a high priority at my point in life, you know, hanging out with guy friends. <sighs> I hate to say it, but a lot of the times I have like better things that I need to be doing that at least in my mind, uh, I've got higher priorities, but yeah. So if guys like, you know, kind of brush you off and be like, nah, like you can't hang out. Sorry about that. You, ha you can't take it personally. It's nothing against you as your quality as a friend or potential friend. It's just that like maybe going out with dudes isn't a high priority for him. At this point in his life, man, he's got other things that he's focused on. So don't take it personally if guys are just like, no, nah, like, sorry, dude, can't hang out. Like, whatever excuse he has. It's just the numbers game. And some things that will make it more likely for men to approach you to, like, you know, like, want to be one of your friends, want to be one of your buddies. And just a quick intermission here, guys. If you could like, comment, or subscribe on this channel... That would do me a huge favor because the YouTube algorithm loves that stuff. Thank you. Is to be approachable, right? When I go to the gym, I don't wear earbuds. I don't wear like headphones. You know, I take them out and I notice that a lot of people are, are want to talk. They want to like get to know you. They want to ask questions. They want to make a comment. And that's not going to happen if you've got your earbuds in and you're not looking at anybody like you're in your own little world. You know, completely not looking at anybody, not making eye contact with anybody. Yeah, you're not going to get very many people, you know, trying to get to know you. Because it looks like you're in your own world and you don't want to be disturbed. But if you have an approachable, you know, look to your face, like you're not like mean mugging guys at the gym. You got your ear, you don't have your earbuds in. You can hear them if they ever make a comment to you. They don't have to be like, take your earbuds out so I can talk to you. No, it's very easy because I don't wear earbuds. I just like, I work out without music. It's just the gym music that plays in the background. 
and it makes it very easy for people to approach you and it makes it very more likely that you'll approach people as well like if i've got my earbuds in generally you're antisocial. you don't want to talk to people you even if you see an attractive woman that you want to approach like you're probably not going to do it because you're like in this like zone of being like antisocial. whereas if you take out your earbuds it's a lot more likely that you'll make the approach and that guys will approach you and talk to you so it's kind of a win-win if you want to be sociable don't wear earbuds and look presentable look approachable like if you just mean mug and you've got like a mean look to your face a lot of people have kind of like resting let's call it resting bitch faces you're not going to get approached a lot because it looks like you don't want people to talk to you or you're going to be very sour in your you know conversation if someone tries to talk to you you're not going to be you know, fun or friendly to talk to. So yes, doing that, making yourself more approachable is a big part of, you know, making guy friends. Yeah. And a lot of this stuff, this social circle stuff is just going to come naturally when you put yourself around a group of guys for a long enough time, stuff's going to happen in terms of like, they're going to build a relationship. Like you make a comment, you're at the gym a lot. Other guys are at the gym at the same time. It's only natural for you to like, eventually one of you is going to start a conversation and you're going to hit it off because you're already have like a common, common way of living, like a common ground, but you got, you're both into the gym that it's very easy. It's like, you're going to click automatically. Same thing with all your school friends, right? When you're at school, like it's very easy to click because you're both in common ground with common goals. And so it's super simple. Like you're going to be generally thinking the same way as these guys. So it's very natural for guys to build social circles this way, but you have to spend time around them. You can't just be like, you know, I'm going to approach, like I'm going to go to this gym one time and then go approach a bunch of guys. No, you repeatedly go like, that's what social circle is. You repeatedly go to the same environments that they are. And it's only natural that you both, you know, want to hang out after, like after work, let's grab a couple drinks. Yeah. Sounds like a plan after school. Hey, you want to grab like whatever you guys want to go out for dinner or you guys want to go watch a UFC event, grab drinks, whatever it is, that is your like common ground. And most likely they're going to be into the same things that you are because you're both like-minded. You're both in the same uh, circumstances of life and you're both into the same things. You know, you're either you're big into the gym, you're big into school, or you're big into work. Oh, you're maybe not into work, but you, you're both in the same situation at work that you can complain about work and the politics and everything else that goes wrong in the work life. But yeah, you bond over that. And yeah, none of this stuff is like groundbreaking. You, you can either play a passive role. And if that's not working, like guys aren't approaching you or asking you out to hang out and do things like that. Then yes, then you take the active approach and you be the one to initiate things. Make a comment, ask a question, see how they respond. Do they fire right back and seem like they're having a good time? And yeah, like, man, look, what's your name, by the way? I'm Tom. And they re- give you your name. We should hang out sometime. And you see how he acts. Maybe he hangs out. Maybe he doesn't. Doesn't really matter. It's a numbers game in the grand scheme of things. So don't take it personally if one of them is just like not interested in hanging out so- hanging out with you outside of work, school, or the gym, or whatever activity that you're into. And a lot of the times, I remember, like, working in retail with women, and the women would always, like, make comments, like, the women that I worked with would always make comments that, like, I get more numbers from guys than they do while at work, Uh, because guys are generally afraid to shoot their shot, especially in front of other people, but they're not afraid, usually, to shoot their shot with you because it's a you know two guys seeming like they you know get along well it's all it's natural for them to like hey like we should hang out sometime yeah so a lot of the time it's just taking genuine interest in people asking questions and being supportive of whatever they say back and you know asking further digging a little bit deeper on what they have to say take a genuine interest in people and immediately they're going to feel close to you and being like, yeah, this guy gets me. Like, what's your number? I let, we should hang out. Like, <laughs> that's how it works. Anyways, guys, if you need help building social circles 
with men, with women, whatever it is, I help guys do that. There's coaching links down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.